In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us listen, listen to the, the voice of the Lord, Lord and, and enter, enter into, into his, his peace. peace. Come, bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God that saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks with songs that us hail the Lord. Let us, Let us listen, listen to, to the, the voice, voice of the Lord, Lord and enter and into his peace. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods, and his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Let us, Let us listen, listen to the, the voice, voice of the Lord, Lord and, enter and enter into his, his peace. Come <coughs> in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Let us listen, listen to the, the voice of the Lord, Lord and enter, enter into, into his, his peace. peace. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Let us listen, listen to the, the voice of the Lord, Lord and, and enter, enter into his peace. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said to their hearts of astray, These people do not know my ways. And I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Let us listen, listen to the voice of the Lord, Lord and enter into, into his, his peace. peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let, Let us, us listen, listen to the, the voice of the Lord, Lord and, and enter into, into his peace. peace. Hymn 387. For all, all the, the saints, saints who showed your love, love in how they lived and where they moved. For mindful women caring men, accept our gratitude again. For all the saints who love your name, whose faith increased to save your fame, who sang your songs and shared your word, accept our gratitude, good Lord. For all the saints who name your will and saw your kingdom coming still, through selfless protest, prayer, and praise, accept the gratitude we bring. Bless all who will, or name, or love, reflect the grace of heaven above, to unclaimed by earthly powers, your life through the earth has hallowed us. It is good to make music to your name, O Most, Most High, high to, to proclaim, proclaim your, your love in the morning. morning. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-string lyre and lute, with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O oh God, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be uh, eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox his strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It is good, good to, to make, make music, music to your, to your name, name o most, most High, high to, proclaim to proclaim your love, love in, the in the morning. I will give you a new heart, 
and put, put a new spirit, spirit in you. you. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I'll sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleannesses and from all your idols I'll cleanse you. A new heart I will give you, a new spirit I will put within you, and I will take out of your flesh the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinances. You shall dwell in the land which I gave to your fathers and you shall be my people and I will be your God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I'll I will give you, give you a new heart, heart and put, put a, new a new spirit, spirit in, in you. you. On the lips of children and of babes, you, you have found praise, Lord. Lord. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praise above the heavens, on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to fall your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arrange, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal men that you pray for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god, with glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hand, put all things under his feet. All of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the years. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, well without end. On the lips it's of children, children and, babes. and a babe, you, you have found, found praise, praise Lord. Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. What we are waiting for is what he promised, the new heavens and the new earth, the place where righteousness will be at home. So then, my friends, while you are waiting, do your best to live lives without spot or stain that he will find you at peace. Think of your Lord's patience as your opportunity to be saved. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. My tongue shall tell the tale of your justice. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. Lord, guide our feet into, into the, the way, way of peace. peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who are his prophets from of old. A Saviour, free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. For his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us, a free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, who might serve me in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God, the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord, to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, to forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, Lord, guide our feet into, into the, the way, way of, of peace. peace. God's gift was not a, sp a spirit of timidity, but the spirit of power and love and self-control. With complete confidence, we pray. 
Father, send us your spirit. Praise be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Christ you have given us every spiritual blessing. Father, send us your spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit, Mary brought Jesus into the world. Through the church, may Christ be born again today in the hearts of men and women. Father, send us your spirit. Father, may your spirit lead us forward out of solitude. May he lead us to open the eyes of the blind, to proclaim the word of light, to reap together the harvest of life. Father, send us your spirit. Let us striving for your kingdom not fall short through selfishness or fear. May the universe be alive with the spirit and our homes be the pledge of a world redeemed. Father, send us your spirit. Our Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed, be, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day, day our, daily our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against, against us. And lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Amen. O powerful, eternal God, splendor of true life and never-ending day, at this return of the morning hour, face away the night of sin and fill our minds with the glory of your coming. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us say the prayer for priests. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we thank, thank you for every, every priest, priest who has faithfully given, given his life for the salvation, salvation of, his of his brothers, brothers and, and sisters. sisters. We give, we give thanks, thanks to those priests who have brought, brought us your word, your word of truth, of truth the grace of the sacraments, and above, above all, the supreme gift, gift of the Holy Eucharist. Eucharist. Father, Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, Christ who called the apostles to follow him, him, we ask you to raise up new and generous vocations to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call, and enable them not to be afraid but to recognize the joy of giving the our lives in love to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. We celebrate the feast of St. Peter Alcantara, the patron saint of Shrewsbury Diocese. We will recite the Gloria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, 
Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the grace you have bestowed, so that by unceasing growth, your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who heralds peace, brings happiness, proclaims salvation, and tells Zion, your God is king. Listen, you watchmen, raise their voices. They shout for joy together, for they see the Lord face to face as he returns to Zion. Break into shouts of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord is consoling his people, redeeming Jerusalem. The Lord bears his holy arm in the sight of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim, Proclaim the, wonders the wonders of the, of the Lord, Lord among all, all the peoples. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim, Proclaim the, the wonders, wonders of the, the Lord, Lord among, among all, all the peoples. peoples. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Proclaim, Proclaim the, the wonders, wonders of, of the Lord, Lord among, among all the peoples. <coughs> Proclaim to the nations God is king, the world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Proclaim, Proclaim the, the wonders, wonders of, of the Lord, the Lord among, among all the peoples. peoples. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our heart, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet cast into the sea that brings a haul of all kinds. When it is full, the fishermen haul it ashore. Then sitting down, they collect the good ones in a basket and throw away those that are of no use. This is how it will be at the end of time. The angels will appear and separate the wicked from the just to throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Have you understood all this? They said, yes. And he said to them, well then, every scribe who becomes a disciple of the kingdom of heaven 
is like a householder who brings out from his storeroom things both new and old. When Jesus had finished these parables, he left the district, the gospel of the Lord. I found some notes from the diocesan website about the Shrewsbury Cathedral Church, the mother church of our diocese, the seat of the Bishop of Shrewsbury, 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 Shrewsbury. It says, the Cathedral Church of Our Lady, Help of Christians, and St. Peter of Alcantara, was begun in 1853 and opened by Cardinal Nicholas Wiseman in 1856. The original design of the cathedral was drawn up by Augustus Welby Pugin at the request of John Talbot, the 16th Earl of Shrewsbury. Sadly, both the Earl and Pugin died in 1852 before the cathedral got off the drawing board. Fortunately, the Earl's 20-year-old heir, Bertram, was happy to continue the project and turned to Pugin's eldest son, Edward, to complete his father's work. Tragically, Bertram died just 23 years old, two months before the cathedral was completed. Today, the cathedral is home to a thriving parish community, as well as, a serving, as serving the diocese as the mother church. It is from this cathedral that Bishop Mark Davis presides over the Diocese of Shrewsbury, preaching, teaching, and celebrating the sacraments. One of the greatest treasures of the cathedral has to be the stained glass. Seven of the windows are masterpieces in the arts and craft tradition by Margaret Rope, an artist born in Shrewsbury in 1882, who later became a Carmelite nun but continued to design and paint glass by many commissions, both here and abroad. Visitors travel great distances to see her work in Shrewsbury Cathedral. Today, we are privileged to be numbered among the people who make up the Diocese of Shrewsbury. And for that, we give thanks to God and ask him to help us to continue to stay dedicated. <coughs> Let us pray. Lord our God, give your church shepherds to nourish and care for your flock. When our communities are lax and divided, may the Holy Spirit unite us and restore our fervor and joy. Lord, hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offering made here, and grant that by those who seek your favor may receive in this place the grace of the sacraments and an answer to their prayers through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in your benevolence you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as a temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who loved the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as ones for the disciples. So now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask you to send for the Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew our church. By the light of the gospel, strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with John Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. 
Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints who have pleased you, we shall praise you and exalt you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. <clears throat> but deliver us from you. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take your the sins of the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant, we pray, that by our partaking of this sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Dear sisters and brothers, we have come before our mother of perpetual help to praise God our Father with Mary and to thank him for the blessings he has given us through her intercession. Let us once more ask her to pray for us. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who pled your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, To you I come before you are stand, sinful and sorrowful, O mother of the word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. That we may be faithful to prayer every day of our lives. That we may carry out faithfully the duties of our state of life. That we may have courage to face up to all our difficulties that we may quickly return to Christ should we fall into serious sin and misunderstandings with those we love in times of sickness in the home in worries about financial matters that we and our young people may find our true vocation in life that all may respect our human life and avoid the dangers of drugs and alcohol that those who rule our country may act wisely, justly, and for the good of all. That we may see our daily work as a service to our neighbor. That the economy of our nation may improve and the dignity of human labor be restored to those who feel rejected, redundant, or unemployed. That we may be tolerant and charitable towards those who do not share our views that all who suffer in mind or body may be comforted, and if it is your will, restored to health. That our Holy Father Pope Francis may have light and guidance in ruling the church. That all people may live in peace and unity. That our diseased relatives and friends may have eternal rest. For the intentions of all who are making the novena, and for our personal intentions. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence, we come before you to be inspired by the example of your life. We think of you at that moment when full of faith and trust, you accepted God's call to be mother of his son. Help us, your children, to accept with joy our own calling in life. When you learned that your cousin Elizabeth was in need, you immediately went to serve her and offer your help. Help us, like you, to be concerned for others. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony. But your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, help us to realize that we must expect trial and disappointments. Help us not to lose heart. 
May we share with your son the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, it is your will that we come together today. Honor Mary as a mother, ever ready to help us. May we who implore her motherly help, benefit by the great gift of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. giving your people bread from heaven, the bread which is full of all goodness. Let us pray, O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in our lives the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, <clears throat> all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The divine praise is blessed be God, Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be a holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be a glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph as spouse most chaste. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Prayers to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O glorious Prince and Michael, chief and commander of the heavenly host, guardian of souls, vanquisher of rebel spirits, servant in the house of the divine king, and our admirable conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue. Deliver us from all evil who turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Amen. 